Right now, a major ruling on if UW Health can recognize a nurse union, what both sides are saying about the decision. Plus, an update on a nonprofit looking to provide abortion services to women just across the Wisconsin Illinois border. And not quite record breaking temperatures, but temperatures will once again get into the 50s to maybe near 60 with windy conditions. I'll time out those temperatures and whether that unsettled weather may impact your Sunday travel plans. Good morning and thanks for joining us on Weekend Mornings. I'm Shane Hogan. He's Greg Barnhart. Hope you had a nice Thanksgiving. We're able to relax a little bit, eat some good food, enjoy some nice weather, and yeah. still weather's going to be nice today. Day. Yeah, you definitely got another day. I mean, the wind's going to pick up, but still 50 degrees in this time of year. You can't, can't beat it, really. No, absolutely not. We're waking up to warmer conditions. Almost everyone stayed above freezing last night uh, across the whole region. Right now, temperatures are already in the mid to upper 30s with a few spots in the lower 40s. Winds are starting to pick up, and that'll be the story. Yesterday, many 50s, mid 50s, 55 in Lone Rock, even 51 in Madison, and we're going to see those even higher today. Timing out, we'll get into low 50s almost in some areas by noon, and then climbing to the mid 50s by this afternoon. Once again, a few spots could pick up near 60 this afternoon. The clouds will increase this evening, so temperatures will slowly die, decrease this afternoon and this evening, and then overnight we'll get down into the mid 30s. So La Crosse, plenty of sunshine, clouds increase late, the winds will be the story, more 15 to 20 miles per hour, but still mid 50s for high temperatures, the same story for Madison too. Clouds will be a bit later, but overall the winds will increase too. Once again, low to mid 50s, about 15 degrees above where we should be this time of year. We do have a system coming, one to the north, a really long one, and then the one one to the south is also coming our way. I'll time out both of those and whether they'll provide some unsettled weather for your travel plans tomorrow a bit later in the broadcast. All right, Greg, we'll keep an eye on that. Thank you very much. Well, we begin this morning with the state committee ruling that the Act 10 legislation does not require UW Health to recognize a nurse's union. The decision comes two months after UW Health and SEIU Healthcare Wisconsin union leaders reached a deal to avoid a nurse's strike. Three of the union's leading nurses said they respectfully disagreed with the decision, referring to Attorney General Josh Call's opinion earlier this summer that UW Health was a qualified employer under the state's Employment Peace Act. UW Health will next ask the state Supreme Court to issue an opinion on the case. In a statement, leaders of the UW Nurses Union movement said the decision will not impact their ongoing negotiations. They also said, quote, hundreds of us have already signed up to become union members and we are meeting directly with the administration to raise critical issues and create real solutions. Meanwhile, UW Health says they'll continue to press for a definitive decision on this issue. They added, quote, we believe that an expedited decision on these important legal issues will best allow us to move forward, which is why we are petitioning the Wisconsin Supreme Court for an opinion on these questions. Just before abortion services shuttered across Wisconsin with the overturn of Roe v. Wade, a Madison area group had an idea. The Rockford Family Planning Foundation started forming weeks before the actual overturn came. Naomi Coles brings us an update on the nonprofit's plan to bring abortion services just over the border of Illinois. We will not turn anybody away. The Rockford Family Planning Foundation's president is not new to women's health. She was previously on Wisconsin's Planned Parenthood board. We knew that we needed to have a safe space, a a health care center close to Madison and southern Wisconsin. When Roe was overturned, she, a local doctor, and several others started planning. The doctor bought land in Rockford, and now a clinic providing full reproductive and abortion services is coming to serve northern Illinois and southern Wisconsin. When do you hope to open? We hope to open in the spring of 2023. If <laughs> All goes well with construction. They've raised 700,000, but they need to make it to 1.5 million. Patients driving to Illinois from Wisconsin has gone up tenfold since Roe fell. The all-volunteer board means funds go entirely to startup costs, the first year of expenses, and providing care. The goal? Serving between 1,500 and 2,000 patients a year. Have you uh, gotten any backlash from the Rockford community? There's a small but vocal minority of folks that are in Rockford that have taken it upon themselves to 
make our lives a little bit more difficult. The clinic would provide first and second semester surgical abortions, as well as family planning, gynecological, and comprehensive reproductive care. They're still working out the details like abortion prices. We have not had that many obstacles. We're going full steam ahead. Coming up tomorrow on For the Record, you can tune in for the full conversation on the upcoming clinic. That's at 1030 tomorrow morning after Face the Nation. Wisconsin election officials are weighing in on whether changes to military absentee voting is needed. This comes after a top Milwaukee elections official was charged with fraud for falsely requesting military absentee ballots just days before the midterm election. The Wisconsin Election Commission says they have talked about possibly changing state law to allow military voters to use their military IDs to verify their identity. Hundreds of people in the town of Berlin in Green Lake County are remembering an 11-year-old boy after he died last Sunday in a hunting accident. Our McKenna Alexander shares how this community is coming together in remembering one of its own. Stories, songs, and prayer filled the air tonight in Riverside Park as the Berlin community came together to remember an 11-year-old boy taken too soon. A busy holiday season put on pause this evening as a community grieves the tragic loss of 11-year-old Easton Tome. After a fatal hunting accident, hundreds gathered on Friday night dressed in blaze orange to honor a fellow hunter, friend, and classmate. Always in gym class, if any of us were feeling down, he would never fail to make a smile on our face. Uh, he'd like never stop smiling. I feel like I've never seen a time where he's been sad. He's just always so happy. Thanksgiving may be over, but tonight this small community remains thankful for the light Easton brought to their lives and the light that lives on in his remembrance. That was our McKenna Alexander reporting. To more local news now, the Ho-Chunk Nation held its traditional Ho-Chunk Day powwow Friday afternoon. There, family and friends got together for some food and fun. Two special contest dances were held, including a male woodland-style dance and a female applique-style dance. Each dance had two sessions determined by a person's age. But the event was about much more than just dancing. Culturally, art is family. Being together with family, bringing people over and, and celebrating with food and dance and laughter. There was also a moccasin tournament with prizes ranging between $200 and $800. Friday morning at Hilldale Shopping Center in Madison, shoppers lined up early for those Black Friday deals. While doorbuster sales are what the big department stores push during the early holiday shopping season, Madison's local businesses are trying to give their customers a price cut as well. One of those local shops is Twigs. The store manager says the chaos of holiday shopping looks different for this small business. Since I've been at Twigs, um, I feel like my mental health during the holiday season has been a lot better. Like it's honestly just like a fun day for our staff and our customers versus like a crazy stressful shopping day, which I really appreciate. And today marks Small Business Saturday, where Twigs at Hilldale and other businesses will continue shopping deals to encourage people to buy local. Go check those out. Downtown Madison is celebrating the season with its annual holiday open house. Organizers say it's a great time to support local businesses while having fun with your family. Visitors can enjoy live music and a free trolley ride around the Capitol Square. The first 500 people to ride the trolley will get a gift bag full of specials from downtown businesses. Kids will also get mini candy canes. You can also stop by a Lisa Link, by Lisa Link Peace Park to take a family photo with a giant ornament balloon sculpture. There's so much more, including taking a look at all of our seasonal decorations um, and our community planters, um, which were adopted by um, nonprofits in the community to highlight the work that they do. Kids at the Rotunda is also happening all weekend. If you missed Friday's open house, you will have another chance to enjoy some holiday activities today and tomorrow. That starts in just a little bit at 9 a.m. and it goes until 4. All right, still ahead this morning, sending the Christmas spirit all the way to those in Ukraine. And you're taking a live look over downtown La Crosse. Looks beautiful, not a cloud in the sky. Greg's got the full forecast when we get back. Join me in the 608 weekdays on News 3 Now This Morning.
The price of gold is at a seven-year high. Get top cash on the spot for your gold at Diamond Select. Cash in today while the price of gold is high. Don't miss out. Get instant cash for your gold today at Diamond Select, downtown Stoughton. How to holiday the Bob's way. You look exhausted, Mr. Gnome. All those Black Friday and Cyber Monday gimmicks, it's enough to make your head spin. Take a break from the chaos and make Bob's Discount Furniture your holiday haven. Enjoy the respite of haggle-free shopping, affordable furniture made even more attainable with financing options to fit your budget, and stress-free gifting with oodles of in-stock and ready-to-ship gifts you know will make it on time. So enjoy less head spinning and more savings during the holidays. Okay, that looks fun. Skip the shopping mayhem. Holiday the Bob's way. It's Black Friday now at Grand Appliance. Get half back on select 2022 grills and unbeatable appliance specials like up to $1,000 back and 0% interest for up to 36 months on our most popular brands. These exclusive offers are on top of Black Friday pricing, which is now in effect on all appliances, including this ultra-quiet three-rack KitchenAid dishwasher for just $7.49. Visit GrandAppliance.com or your local showroom today. Grand Appliance, the appliance expert since 1930. This holiday season, Ford wants to help you shine bright. So, this Black Friday, choose a vehicle in stock or simply place a custom order. Lock in your rate and you're protected, even if rates go up before your order comes in. Plus, thousands of vehicles are arriving daily, just in time for the holidays. This season, get into a 2022 Explorer SUV with 2.9% financing for 60 months at your local Ford dealer and shine bright. Are you waking up in the morning with a sore jaw, headaches, maybe even ringing in your ears, all because you're grinding and clenching your teeth at night? That's exactly what was going on with me. That's when I found this, the Brux Night Guard. Now the Brux Night Guard redirects the bite force away from the back teeth, reducing jaw pain while still protecting the teeth. This unique design is what makes Brux Night Guard different from all other traditional grind guards. Go to BruxNightGuard.com and order yours today. At Diamond Select, our on-site goldsmith can create a beautiful, one-of-a-kind piece. Whether it's repurposing an old ring or creating from a picture online, we're here to help you create jewelry of your dreams. Diamond Select, downtown Stoke. News 3 Now, first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Yeah, we have some changes coming up this week, but uh, in the meantime, enjoying today. What we do know is we're going to have mild conditions today, above normal temperatures through Tuesday, even though it'll be colder tomorrow, still above average. Uh, we do have some late uh, tonight, Sunday morning, uh, maybe some showers, some rain or snow. It won't be a big deal. We're watching that Tuesday, Wednesday system. That we know we're going to have something in windy day and, and actually Wednesday. What we don't know right now is how much we're going to have travel impacts before that ban coming Tuesday and Wednesday and uh, where that ban may set up. So keep in tune. We'll see what's going on with once we get closer to Tuesday and Wednesday. In the meantime, we still got really a system to the south, one to the north. One's going to pass to our east. One's going to kind of clip us too. That's going to bring our unsettled weather tonight through early tomorrow morning. More cloud cover and just cooler conditions. Then we're going to switch back to southwest flow just briefly before cold air digs into the west and we have a front. That's the one that we're watching for Tuesday, Wednesday that cuts through here and bring us cooler and snow cover uh, chances there. So something to keep in mind of. For today, winds will start increasing today. We'll have cloud cover as a system from the south. There's the one to the north. Overall, we'll have cloud cover, stronger winds, still good temperatures. The shower activity really is for south central and southeastern Wisconsin. The best shot for that late tomorrow, uh, tonight, and then through early Sunday. You can see just a clip of it down in the southeast. We could see a little brief change over to stone areas to the west, to like La Crosse and areas to their west. Probably just cloud cover, cooler conditions, no precipitation really to speak of. We'll start clearing out once we get towards Sunday, and then Monday the winds will turn around in anticipation of that next front coming. For today, we're just looking at getting into the lower mid 50s for most locations. You can see the winds by the time you get to this evening. We're still hovering in the 40 degree mark for most areas except upper 30s to the west of the cross. Then we'll see cloud cover overall just continue to increase overnight. And there's a shower starting to come in about two in the morning, come up from the south. 
You'll start just creeping up towards Madison area by the time we get to five. And then we're just going to see an area just in that south central, southeastern Wisconsin that could see some precipitation through maybe Sunday early Monday morning. To the west, they're going to have clear skies by the Sunday evening and probably not much in a way of precipitation. Here's that band we're watching from Tuesday. It just kind of pivots its area through the state as we go through Tuesday night into Wednesday. That's one area what we're going to watch for. That could change here and there depending on where it tracks. That would be where we'd see the most impact for the snow. As we look at uh, the 10 day, you see 50s today. We'll We'll cool off a little bit to the 40s Monday, but that's still a little bit above average for Madison. Same story for La Crosse. We're both watching that system Tuesday, Wednesday. Colder after that comes through, but there could be some in travel impacts on both of those days and then dry towards the end of the week, but back to really where we should be in the low to mid 30s for this time of year. So enjoy today. <laughs> it might be the last day. Might be the last day. Get out there. Will get change get your Christmas get the next lights week. up today because then it's going to get cold. But yep. you said watch out for that wind too. Yeah, the wind's going to be blowing today. Definitely. Okay. So we'll keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on that for sure. All right, Greg, thank you very mm -hmm. much. Well, the Badgers volleyball team, once again, the Big Ten champs. Wisconsin took on Nebraska, a very familiar opponent. In the fourth set last night, Wisconsin with the advantage all tied up. And a Nebraska error gives UW the edge. Badgers take it and run with it. In the midst of a scoring run, Anna Schmeck just obliterates the ball. UW extending its lead. Devin Robinson also had a great match. She had team high 16 kills. Congratulations to the Badgers. The final regular season match is set for tonight. Another big one with eighth ranked Ohio State. Will a special tradition return to the Edgewater Hotel last night? Take a look. There you see it. This was the hotel's eighth annual holiday tree lighting. The free event featured activities throughout the day, both inside and out, including games, a storyteller, and craft making. Santa and Mrs. Claus also in attendance. Local tree farms are also getting into the holiday spirit. Jensen Trees in Verona opened for business on Friday. For more than 50 years, the Jensen family has provided high quality Christmas trees to the Madison area. Visitors can choose from a wide variety of pre-cut trees or opt to cut their own. The farm offers free trimming, shaking, and baling services and will also tie the tree onto your car for free. With all the different kinds that we've got here, we still see uh, a good variety, um, but the Fraser fir has definitely become the tree to have. The farm also author, uh, offers other fresh holiday decorations, including wreaths and garlands. And don't forget to check out the gift shop full of locally made holiday decor. And one local man is one step closer to making Christmas better for children from Ukraine. Ward worker Kale Kivstead made 200 trucks for Ukrainian children forced to flee their homes because of the war. At a recent doctor's appointment, Kivstad told his physician, Dr. Rebecca Danoff, what he was trying to do. Danoff was so inspired, she asked her co-workers to help. He sent out an email to all the employees at Mayo and the Onalaska campus here, and they responded quite generously. This way they got something else to do besides just play with trucks. They can do coloring and learn things from them books. There's a lot of different stuff in those books. Together, they donated 200 of those activity books. And with the help of another community member and donations from the public, he says the trucks, books, and some crayons will be shipped to Chicago and then to Poland, hopefully going into the hands of Ukrainian refugees, hopefully by Christmas. Well, coming up this morning, why donating blood during the winter is so important. And there are several new shows and movies to check out this weekend. Will Loper shares his picks and three things to watch. Toyotathon is on! It's the most magical time of the year with great deals on Camry, RAV4, and Tundra. Where's the Tundra? The elves borrowed it. What? Keep them coming! Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, a two year or 25,000 mile maintenance plan and roadside assistance. See your local Toyota dealer or visit toyota.com to learn more. Tis the season for Toyota-thon. Toyota, let's go places. 
This holiday season at the Century House. Give $50 or more to charity and get $200 off any stressless recliner with power, any stressless recliner in ottoman, or any stressless office chair. Or get $200 off each stressless sofa seat or $400 off all stressless Mayfair recliners and ottomans in all Paloma leather colors. Shop the Century House, 3420 University Avenue in Madison. There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock. Because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. Because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or prevented only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Do you have an idea for an invention, but you don't know what to do next? Call InventHelp. They've been helping inventors for 35 years. InventHelp has helped over 10,000 inventors get patents. You can meet with an InventHelp representative who will keep your idea confidential and explain their invention process step by step. And InventHelp's data bank includes over 9,000 companies who have agreed to review new ideas. Take action and get the help you need from InventHelp. 800-550-5543. It's time to get more at the Rust Arrow Black Friday sales event. It's our largest selection of the year, and more selection means more savings. Save with 0% APR financing. Save with no payments until after the holidays. And save with more for your trade. Get more and save on a vehicle you actually want. Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Honda, Toyota, Mitsubishi, Kia, Mazda, Nissan, and hundreds of used vehicles. You get more at the Rust Arrow Black Friday sales event. See our largest selection of the year. Visit us at rustarrow.com. Yeah, we've got another mild day on tap with 50 degrees, maybe even near 60 for many locations. Colder tomorrow, we'll get back closer to average. A little bit of rain and snow late tonight and tomorrow. Most areas will probably stay dry, just cloudy. We are watching another system Tuesday, Wednesday that could have some travel impacts. Uh, but for today, we're looking at temperatures climbing to near 50 by 1 p.m. We should be in the low to mid 50s this afternoon. Clouds will start increasing as we go further in the evening and then overnight as temperatures drop back into the 30s for most locations overnight. That's when a few showers may come in towards the early morning and that's more for south central and southeastern Wisconsin. La Crosse and those areas might not see anything of just cloud cover. There you see what we're eyeing for when we go to Tuesday, Wednesday. We could have a band of snow setting up somewhere Tuesday and Wednesday. Better chance right now is north and west of La Crosse, but that could pivot through the area during that time frame so we could see some travel impacts. We will notice the winds Wednesday and then the colder temperatures that will follow that after once we go into the first week of December. So please enjoy the good conditions. And like you said, probably a good day to get the decorations up because after that, uh, it may get colder and more snow coming. All right, Greg, thank you very much. We'll check back in in just a bit. Well, there's clearly no shortage of films and shows streaming nowadays. Our Will Loper sharing a few of the best in this weekend's Three Things to Watch. We'd meet your new roommate. Are you feeling okay? You look a little pale. Please excuse Wednesday. She's allergic to color. Newly streaming on Netflix is the series Wednesday. I act as if I don't care if people dislike me. Deep down, I actually enjoy it. Tim Burton directs the first four episodes of a new series centered around Wednesday Adams, played by Jenna Ortega, who enrolls in a school for misfits. Secret societies, hidden libraries, a homicidal monster. What other surprises are in store? All eight episodes of Wednesday are streaming on Netflix now. Amber, if you're out there and you're listening, 
but also worried about you. Newly streaming on Apple TV Plus is the series Echo 3. You want answers. She's his wife, she's my sister. We're desperate for something. After a scientist is kidnapped in Venezuela, her husband and her brother, played by Luke Evans, attempt to get her back. How many lives are you willing to trade for your sister? CIA wants a war, and you're going to give it to them. The first three episodes of Echo 3 are streaming on Apple TV Plus now. I just saw on the calendar that right now on Earth, it's almost Christmas time. We don't have time for trivialities like Christmas. But Peter's so sad about Gamora being gone. And newly streaming on Disney Plus is the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. We're looking for the legendary Kevin Bacon. We're looking for the legendary Kevin Bacon. The Marvel characters Drax and Mantis discover the perfect present for Star-Lord, Kevin Bacon. You come with us as a Christmas present. The Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special is streaming on Disney Plus now. Those are the three things you need to watch, and this is Will Loper for Weekend Mornings. Coming up next, the latest from Virginia after the mass shooting inside a Walmart. Beat the clock at A1 Furniture's Black Friday Mattress Blowout. Save 25% off our low warehouse prices, 8 to noon only. Amazing doorbuster deals. Queen mattresses, $2.99. Twins from $99. Shop in store or online. Black Friday only at A1 Furniture and Mattress. Shop unbeatable deals during Black Friday now at Grand Appliance. Black Friday pricing is in effect on our most popular appliance brands. And we're adding up to $1,000 back in 0% interest for up to 36 months on top. Need a grill? Get half off selected models as we clear out 2022 inventory. Get these great offers and more exclusively at Grand Appliance. Shop your local showroom or grandappliance.com today. Grand Appliance. You make it home, we make it grand. Announcing the Rogers and Holland's Black Friday sale. Wait, not the Black Friday sale or our Bling's The Thing Black Friday sale. Just the Rogers and Holland's Black Friday sale. It's so big, the savings speak for themselves. Get up to 40% off all rings, up to 60% off last chance items, and more. Can we at least call it the Black Friday sale? Sold. That's the Black Friday sale at Rogers and Holland's Jewelers. That's huge. I ordered the medium. This holiday season, Ford wants to help you shine bright. So, this Black Friday, choose a vehicle in stock or simply place a custom order. Lock in your rate and you're protected, even if rates go up before your order comes in. Plus, thousands of vehicles are arriving daily, just in time for the holidays. This season, choose Flex Buy on a 2022 Escape or Edge SUV and get 0% financing for 66 months at your local Ford dealer and shine bright. I was born here, I'm from here, and I'm never leaving here. I'm a New York hotel. Yeah, I'm tall. 563 feet and 2 inches. I'm on top of the world. I'm looking for someone who likes to be in the middle of it all, but also likes some peace and quiet. You hungry? I know a place. And a few others nearby. It's the city that never sleeps. But hey, if you need the rest, I've got you covered. Sometimes a cough isn't just a cough, so it's better to be prepared. Keeping Binax Now handy makes it easy to test. And self-test kits may be reimbursable with no copay through your health plan. With Binax Now, you'll have reliable results in 15 minutes with the self-test that features the same technology doctors use and detects multiple variants, including Omicron BA5. So you can always be prepared with Binax Now, the number one COVID-19 self-test in the U.S. Beat the clock at A1 Furniture's Black Friday Blowout. Save 25% off our low warehouse prices, 8 to noon only. Amazing doorbuster deals. Sofas, $3.99. Chase sofas, $5.99. Recliners, $2.99. Shop in-store or online. Black Friday only at A1 Furniture and Mattress. Right now, new information on the Walmart shooter, including his potential motive. Plus, talking to your kids about vaccines, what a new poll suggests as we head into the winter months. And very mild and windy conditions today and seasonally mild with temperatures well above average. I'll time out those temperatures as winds as well as some unsettled weather returning later tonight and tomorrow.
Good morning and thanks for waking up with us on this Saturday. I'm Shane Hogan. Before we get to our top stories this morning, let's send it over to Greg with the check outside. Expecting some nicer temps today, maybe some wind. Tell us all about it, Greg. Yeah, it's pretty much going to be like uh, temperatures yesterday, just more wind tomorrow uh, today. But still, we're starting off with winds right now. They're in the teen, uh, low single digits to be in Rochester at 16. We're going to have the winds as the two systems start approaching. They will increase today. We're starting off still very comfortable for this time of year. Above freezing right now, 41 in Winona, 41 in Madison right now. We didn't really get below freezing for either locations. Lacrosse, that was 27 away, time, but last night, 37 degrees, 38. And the same story for Madison, 51 yesterday. We didn't really even get down to below freezing last night for around 38 degrees. Timing out those winds, we're going to see winds increasing today up to the 15 to 20 mile per hour range across the whole entire area. Once again, that's going to increase our temperatures, but indicating that we have a system, a front coming through this time frame. So as you time out the temperatures, we should be around 50 by noon for many locations, lower 50s by this afternoon, and even mid 50s in occasionals. Clouds will increase as we go on to this evening. We do have two systems, one to the north that's coming down but we also have one to the south that's the one that's actually going to bring us some rainfall mainly to south central and southeast wisconsin i'll time out all of this and whether we'll see more snow come later this work week a bit later in the broadcast all right greg thank you very much police in chesapeake virginia are sharing new information about the gunman who killed six people and injured several others in a walmart super center tuesday night the 31-year-old shooter was a supervisor at the store and left a note claiming he was tormented by his co-workers. We're also learning more about the victims, including a 16-year-old who had just started working at the store. CBS's Bradley Blackburn has the latest. Family and friends grieved at a memorial just steps away from the Walmart store where six people lost their lives. We now know the youngest was 16-year-old Fernando Chavez Barron. I prayed yesterday night with my, my whole family for him. We got flowers and uh, candles um, at home for him too. <laughs> Fernando started working at the store recently. Loved ones say he used his first paycheck to buy gifts for his mom. Walmart has confirmed that all of the victims in Tuesday's shooting were store employees. The shooter was a store manager who witnesses say opened fire inside a break room as workers were about to start the overnight shift. He literally was just doing like this. He was not aiming at anybody specific. He was just shooting all throughout the room. Police released this memo found in his phone where 31-year-old Andre Bing asked for God's forgiveness and complained about being bullied by co-workers. He seemed to blame the shooting on the belief that his phone had recently been hacked. Investigators say the 9mm handgun he used was purchased legally just hours before the attack. Virginia is not among the nine states with a waiting period to buy a gun. The rationale behind waiting periods is that gun violence is often impulsive and forcing a gun buyer to take a cooling off period can reduce violence. Authorities say the shooter who died at the scene with an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound did pass a background check before buying the weapon. He had no criminal history. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. According to police, two other victims who were shot are still in the hospital. One is in critical condition. Meanwhile, President Biden is vowing to renew efforts to get Congress to pass gun control legislation in the aftermath of these several recent mass shootings. For the third year in a row, the U.S. has surpassed 600 mass shootings. The president indicated he may make a move against assault weapons during the so-called lame duck session before the new Congress convenes in January. The idea we still allow semi-automatic weapons to be purchased is sick. Just sick. As the gun control debate persists, an October Gallup poll found that 57% of Americans say laws should be stricter than what they currently are. That sentiment was down from 66% in June. China has set another record for the highest local daily COVID-19 infection since the start of the pandemic. According to health authorities, more than 32,000 infections were recorded on Thursday. It should be noted, though, that while these numbers are higher than the official figures that were reported from the start of the pandemic, many of these cases where the outbreak began in Wuhan went unreported. A national poll finds one in seven U.S. parents have not discussed flu or COVID-19 vaccines with their child's primary care provider during the pandemic. Some parents say they went elsewhere because supply was short, 
but University of Michigan researchers say the poll suggests other parents are not vaccinating their children at all and have even actively avoided the discussion by canceling or delaying regular pediatric appointments. High density lipoprotein or so-called good cholesterol may not be as strong a barometer of heart health among all racial and ethnic groups. Research in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology found lower levels of HDL were associated with increased risk of heart attacks among white adults, but not black adults. Higher levels were not protective for either group. And roll up a sleeve in the season of giving. The American Red Cross warns life-saving blood donations typically drop in the fall and winter months. And doctors say flu or COVID vaccines and boosters do not conflict with giving blood. So if you can give, please do. Still ahead this morning, a deep dive into Axe Week. That's coming up in the Badger Blueprint. Hurry, get incredible Black Friday doorbuster deals at Slumberland Furniture during our Thanksgiving sale. Get low, low prices on our amazing doorbuster deals starting Friday and get 30% off our already low prices on everything else. Slumberland Furniture. After a lifetime in the jewelry business, Pete Dinney is retiring, and Dinney's Jewelers Retirement Sale is in progress. Save up to 60% off store-wide. All must go. All bridal jewelry, all colored stone rings, all silver jewelry, all pearls, all diamond bracelets, and pendants. Absolutely every finished piece is up to 60% off. Pete Dinney and family are saying thank you, Middleton, for 40 years of support. Join us for our retirement celebration. Pete Dinney is retiring, and Dinney's Jewelry Retirement Sale is in progress. Save up to 60% off. All must go. 1903 Cayuga Street, Middleton. It's time to get more at the Rust Arrow Black Friday sales event. It's our largest selection of the year, and more selection means more savings. Save with 0% APR financing. Save with no payments until after the holidays. And save with more for your trade. Get more and save on a vehicle you actually want. Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Honda, Toyota, Mitsubishi, Kia, Mazda, Nissan, and hundreds of used vehicles. You get more at the Rust Arrow Black Friday sales event. See our largest selection of the year. Visit us at rustarrow.com. If you're planning a private party or need catering, why not treat yourself to the best of Madison? Buck and Honey's, seven special event spaces and the award-winning catering you deserve. Make it Buck and Honey's, Monona, Sun Prairie, and Wanakee. Hurry, get incredible Black Friday doorbuster deals at Slumberland Furniture during our Thanksgiving sale. Get low, low prices on our amazing doorbuster deals starting Friday and get 30% off our already low prices on everything else. Slumberland Furniture. Cold winds, ice, snowy, slippery conditions. Be prepared for winter weather. Trust the News 3 Now first worn weather team to give you clear, timely, and accurate info. So when severe winter weather is coming, you'll have plenty of time to plan your life, keeping you safe and ahead of the storms. Your certified most accurate team. First worn weather, only on News 3 Now. Yeah, overall, the big picture, we're kind of between systems right now, so our weather's really, really nice. We got one to the north, really elongated area of clouds and precipitation, and then one to the south that's near Tulsa. Both of those are going to play a factor in our weather, but in the meantime, we're going to have really nice conditions. Temperatures getting up into the mid to upper 50s by the time we get this afternoon. Then this evening, we'll start seeing clouds increase and temperatures off will decrease. As you see, for planning your day for Madison, we're looking at 53 by 4 p.m., increasing clouds towards the evening, but plenty of sunshine before that. Same story for La Crosse. Those clouds will also increase. Very similar temperatures, lower 50s for maxing out, and then this evening we'll start coming down into the 40s with increasing cloud cover. 
As I look at the 10 day, we have that rain or snow coming more tomorrow. That's more for Madison and south than for La Crosse. Then we have Tuesday, Wednesday, which could be accumulating snow, maybe some travel impacts, much colder temperatures to follow. La Crosse may not see much of a flurry or two with the system tomorrow. They'll be more also impacted from the Tuesday, Wednesday snow. That could also be a travel impact. And like Madison, they'll see their temperatures fall back to where we should be by the end of the work week. All right, keep an eye on that. Thanks, Greg. Well, it's Axe Week for the Badgers. Zach Hanley has a full preview in the big game in this week's Badger Blueprint. I don't like him. Right, but I respect them because because they have an identity. They know who they are, and they're going to force you to beat them. Very similar to what to what we are. Welcome to Axe Week, where year-round bragging rights are always on the line. But last year the stakes were even higher. It was a win, and you're in the Big Ten Championship game for the Badgers. The Gophers had other plans. Minnesota shut down the Wisconsin offense and scored two second-half touchdowns to take back the Axe and spoil a trip to Indy for the Badgers. And that's something this team hasn't forgotten. Seen enough to go out there and not want the same feeling so we had it on in the weight room just them celebrating to jump around and it still gets under my skin to this day. I think of the seniors um, anybody that's been around this program um, and you have that sense of uh, like we let them down um, so yeah every time you look at it, it stings um, I know I can speak for a lot of guys in that so that's that's our one goal man. Want it. Tough seeing an empty trophy case for an entire year. Clearly, they haven't forgotten about last year, and it seems like they don't want to forget about it. Right, Graham Mertz called it fuel, and this has always been a great rivalry. Uh, I think it's gotten better the last couple of years because Minnesota has made it competitive. It, for so long, this was UW dominating this series. Uh, Minnesota, and under P.J. Fleck, has made this more competitive, and I think that's what makes a rivalry great. To take back the axe, the Wisconsin defense is going to have to slow down Minnesota running back Muhammad Ibrahim, which is easier said than done. Ibrahim is coming off a career-high performance where he rushed for 263 yards and a touchdown. So it should come as no surprise that he averages a Big Ten best 152 yards on the ground per game. Needless to say, Nick Herbig and the boys are very familiar with his game. The team out west, I hate to compliment <laughs> somebody, uh, but I mean, you gotta give respect where respect's due. I think he's the best player, personally, I, that I've ever went against. I'm ready for him to leave and, and move on. Um, he, it's just impressive, the, the physicality, um, the consistency that he runs with, the vision. Um, he's gonna make you earn it every time you have to tackle him. He's had at least 30 carries in each of Minnesota's last five games, so expect a heavy dose of Ibrahim on Saturday. Right, Wisconsin's been really good against the run. Keanu Benton has kind of controlled the middle of that defensive line, and, and they've done a really good job stopping the run for the most part. This will be a different challenge. I mean, that, those 263 yards just didn't come against anybody. It was against Iowa, and we saw firsthand how good that Iowa defense is. So probably the best running back they've faced, not only this year, but in, in a couple years. Besides the come-from-behind win in Lincoln to send the Badgers onto a bowl game for the 21st straight year, the other big football news, Wisconsin officially posted the head football coach job. It's open for seven days, so technically they could name the next head coach after the Gopher game. It's expected to be Leonard, but he says he hasn't been told that yet. I'm going to have some conversations this week, and, and hopefully it leads um, in the direction I want it to go. I got about 20 bucks if I can get some of your sources in here. Uh, There's a lot of information I'm hearing, but I haven't been told. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for the opportunity to really lay out my entire vision for the athletic department. We're talking about this on Monday. We both agree the job is his. It's just when's the announcement going to come? Maybe Sunday during the Packer game? Sure, I could see them doing that. I could see them announcing it on Sunday, uh, holding some sort of formal, formal press conference on Monday. But I think it's obvious by now that, that he is the guy and is going to get the job. And I think one thing that has impressed me about Jim Leonard is not focus on him this week, right? This is a big game. Let the players get ready for this rivalry game and, and not make it about him. And still to come, the Axe has been missing in Madison for a year. Will the Badgers take it back? Find out after the break. Be sure to tune in for that coming up. You're taking a live look outside. It's sunny. There's the capital. Greg's got the full forecast after this.
Happy holidays from all of us at WISC-TV. It's Black Friday now at Grand Appliance. Get half back on select 2022 grills and unbeatable appliance specials like up to $1,000 back and 0% interest for up to 36 months on our most popular brands. These exclusive offers are on top of Black Friday pricing, which is now in effect on all appliances, including this ultra-quiet three-rack KitchenAid dishwasher for just $749. Visit GrandAppliance.com or your local showroom today. Grand Appliance, the appliance expert since 1930. Wisconsin is a home of workers. We know it needs to get done, and we do it. Yet, we've been hit hard, some harder than others. Our contact may be limited, but we still can lift each other up. The Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy providers are working together to help keep your heat and power on. You may not ask for it, but we want you to know we're here. holiday season, Ford wants to help you shine bright. So, this Black Friday, choose a vehicle in stock or simply place a custom order. Lock in your rate and you're protected, even if rates go up before your order comes in. Plus, thousands of vehicles are arriving daily just in time for the holidays. This season, get into a 2022 Explorer SUV with 2.9% financing for 60 months at your local Ford dealer and shine bright. There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock. Because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. Because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Yeah, overall, we're looking at a nice day today, but we do have some changes coming as everyone kind of returns back to the normal schedule after the holidays. What we do know is we're going to have above normal temperatures through Tuesday, not as quite as warm as we had today, but it will still be warm. Wednesday, Thursday below, we do have that system tonight, tomorrow, not much impact with that. The band of snow comes Tuesday, Wednesday. That's one that we're going to keep an eye on that more confident and windy conditions today, and especially as we go to Wednesday. As we know, what we don't know is really what the impacts are going to be with really that snow that comes Tuesday and Wednesday, and if we got any travel impacts with that too. So as we get closer to the event, we should actually have better details on what's going to go on. But for the meantime, we have the system to the south, one to the north. That's going to bothly come through here, but not provide much impacts. It's going to cool us down. A few showers will creep up. Most of the rain will stay to the east and south. Then by Monday, we'll have a return flow back from the southwest. That's anticipation of a system beginning to develop out west. And that's the one that comes through here Tuesday and Wednesday with snow and obviously colder temperatures behind it. Something to keep an eye on. But for today, increasing winds, sky, uh, clouds will begin to increase this afternoon from the system to the south. Also from the north, you can see the front kind of getting close to the cross here by this evening. Then we're going to have really cloud cover increase overnight. The shower activity really is for southern Wisconsin with this system coming up from the north. That'll be more tomorrow morning, early afternoon. Maybe a ch brief change over to some snow in some areas to the west La Crosse. More cloud cover and then less cloud cover as the day goes on with the winds from the north. So that's why it's going to be a little bit colder tomorrow. And then Monday, everything starts turning around from the southwest. Anticipation of that front getting close by Monday evening. So that's what we're looking for. Temperatures today, once again in the afternoon, mid to upper 50s for most locations. Suddenly winds will be strong, 10 to 20 for most locations. 
This evening, cloud cover increases, so our temperatures will slowly decrease into the 40s and then 30s overnight. There's your showers coming in after 3 a.m. to the south. They'll kind of creep up towards the north, towards Madison, towards tomorrow morning. As you can see there towards Janesville and those areas into the southeastern, they'll see that more too. So most areas will probably stay dry, but as you go towards Chicago and those areas, more rainfall to be expected tomorrow too. Overall, as you look at that system, we talked about that snow band. Here's kind of an idea. It kind of pivots around through the area through Tuesday into Wednesday. That's one area we're watching that could change and where that sets up could be some snow and obviously some travel impact. So stay tuned for more details on that as we go through. As we already kind of mentioned, there's your system coming through Tuesday, Wednesday, much colder temperatures behind the fact. Same story for Madison 2, 50s today. Definitely cool down by Thursday with the snow potential there. And then by next weekend, we're kind of where we should be, mid to upper 30s as now we're in the month of December. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's quickly approaching. All right, yes. Greg, thank you very much. No well, as Madison watches the U.S. take the world stage, young soccer players are among those watching. We caught up with the head of Millennium Soccer Club, a local nonprofit that provides low cost and accessible soccer programs for kids here in Madison. Club president Haley Brisky says seeing those players can be inspirational for the kids here in Madison. Seeing someone who looks like you be super successful, hearing somebody speak the language that your family speaks at home, I think there's so much value in our kids being able to see themselves reflected in successful places and just to help them dream and find motivation. Obviously a big game yesterday, the U.S. and England. Well, the club focuses on younger kids, elementary schoolers, and Brisky says it's important for that age, especially to see soccer on a big stage like the World Cup, to see how far they can take it. The club has an indoor team going right now that will continue to play through the rest of the World Cup tournament. The Badgers, they want that axe back here in Madison. Here's Zach with more ahead of today's big game. Wisconsin and Minnesota for Paul Bunyan's Axe. It's the oldest rivalry in college football. Saturday marks the 132nd time these two teams have squared off. The Badgers lead the all-time series with 62 wins. The Gophers have 61, and there have been eight ties. Recently, it's been all UW, winning 16 of the last 18 meetings. But the Axe has been gone for a year, and the Badgers plan to take it back. It's the biggest game for, for everybody here. Um, and, you know, the guys who lost it last year, the seniors that, that left without it, um, they all want to see us get it back. They don't really like them, they don't like us. And uh, being able to, having to walk through that uh, locker room with it missing, you know, you definitely look at it sometimes and it just kind of ticks you off. So uh, being able to, you know, have opportunity to get it back on Saturday is something I'm not really looking forward to. So does the Axe return to Madison, or does Minnesota win two straight in the series for the first time since 1993 and 1994? You know, as we talked about, so much incentive for Wisconsin to play in this game. Uh, the one thing I wonder about is now that the job's been posted, is there any sort of let up from the Wisconsin players? They've been fighting so hard to get Jim Leonard the job. We'll see how they react to that. I'm actually pick picking Minnesota. 20 to 17, it's just a gut feeling. I have nothing really to base it on. Keanu Benton has had last year's game on his phone for a year. Every time he watches it, he gets mad. That's a man I don't want to make mad. Badgers get the ax back 24 to 14. And that's it for this week's Badger Blueprint. Thanks for watching. All right, that's a big one coming up. Kickoff at 2.30. And coming up next, a remarkable story about defying the odds in Milwaukee. The price of gold is at a seven-year high. Get top cash on the spot for your gold at Diamond Select. Cash in today while the price of gold is high. Don't miss out. Get instant cash for your gold today at Diamond Select, downtown Stoughton. Toyota Thon is on. Now's the time to get an exciting new Toyota. Like Camry Hybrid, RAV4, Tundra, and more. Uh, how did you. Magic. Right now, during Toyota Thon, get 3.49% APR for 48 months on a new Toyota Corolla, Camry, RAV4, Highlander, or Tacoma. Come in today. Toyota, let's go places. Hey, do you want to join our rewards program? Collect hot dog points to unlock access to our VIP lounge. That doesn't seem very... Rewarding. With a BMO Savings Builder account, you get a cash reward for every month you save. Wait, so you're going to reward me for saving my own money? You got it. 
a little incentive to help you get into the habit of saving. That sounds great, but do you have VIPs? Yeah, absolutely. We call them customers. When a bank helps you make real financial progress, that's the BMO effect. Sir Jennian's landfill free guarantee has kept more than 20 million pounds of commercial and residential carpet and pad from area landfills. Visit Madison's largest showroom of flooring options, including eco friendly products. Local, sustainable Sir Jennian's. This holiday season at the Century House. Give $50 or more to charity and get $200 off any stressless recliner with power, any stressless recliner and ottoman, or any stressless office chair. Or get $200 off each stressless sofa seat or $400 off all stressless Mayfair recliners and ottomans in all Paloma leather colors. Shop the Century House, 3420 University Avenue in Madison. Non-attorney spokesperson. This is a paid advertisement for legal services sponsored by Nightline Legal. Cases assigned on a random basis to participating law firms. If you or a loved one were stationed at Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune between 1953 and 1987 and were later diagnosed with cancer, Parkinson's disease, or other serious health effects, call right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation. Call right now to find out if you qualify. Call 1-800-336-0524. one 800 1-800-336-0524. From a diamond engagement to a diamond anniversary and everything in between, we shop the diamond capitals of the world so you don't have to. At Diamond Select, we also fix, reset, and remake jewelry too. Diamond Select in downtown Stoughton. Mission Unstoppable, Saturday morning at 9. Finally this morning, the main objective of archery is hitting the bullseye. And you'd think you'd have to see the target in order to do that. But a group of blind archers are proving that's not the case. James Grow has the story from Milwaukee. Not only am I a blind archer, but I'm a blind mother. I was a victim of a uh, very heinous crime. So um, that's how I lost my sight. But now Jasmine Vandiver is taking inspiration from archery and is moving past that tragic event. You know how the arrow flows? I think that's how life should be. It should always be moving forward, not being stagnant or complacent. She is part of a group of blind archers that practice at Westtown Archery in Brookfield. I believe it gives them a chance to be competitive, gives them a chance to do something that Nobody thought they could do it. Archers line up alongside a specialized stand. They put their feet against the bottom and their hand rests near a pin. It helps them maintain form and gives them a sense of direction. Lyle Marniak or another instructor will help them load arrows and walk them to the target to feel their shots. And you got all of these in a cluster. Oh, cool. That's Michelle and her husband, Dan. Secret. Go over to my left a little bit. Yeah. Okay. He was actually the one who first approached Lyle about the opportunity to do archery in 2017. And I looked over and I said, Dan, your nickname is Blind Dan. <laughs> and now he's been doing archery for five Good years. Really so nice. Good job. He has a disease that slowly reduced his vision until he became blind. He says people often don't even realize he's blind until they ask him certain questions. You didn't ask me what my favorite color is. What's your favorite color? Doesn't matter, I'm blind. <laughs> but all jokes aside, what these athletes like Jasmine and Dan are doing is proving that anything is possible. We have just choices in life. And you can either choose to sit there or get up and uh, do some archery. You can even watch them compete at the annual Wisconsin Highland Games. What an awesome story. So inspiring and uh, great to see them beating the odds. All right, Greg, how about one check of the weather before we go? Yeah, it's going to be another mild day. Like I said, winds will increase, so overall still good. We're speaking of November and we're still in the 50s. But tomorrow a little colder, a little bit of rain or snow late tonight. Tomorrow, like I said, more southern Wisconsin for that issue. And then we're all going to have to pay attention to Tuesday, Wednesday for maybe some accumulating snow. Just depends on where things set up. But for today, 50s as you plan out your day. The winds will definitely be increased for both La Crosse and Madison with cloud cover increasing late this afternoon and evening. There's Madison's temperatures, low 50s, but still overall fantastic, really, day to end Saturday. And then there's your 10-day. Note the temperatures towards the end and the snow coming, potentially for Tuesday, Wednesday, too. All right, get out, enjoy the day while you can. Thanks for waking up with us. We'll see you back here tomorrow.